OK, so we're running late again. First thing to know, this is the only divided legislature in the country. The House is Democrat, Senate Republicans. Also, COVID. A lot of the work has been done Zoom style, which isn't exactly conducive to passing a two year $50 billion balanced budget. And it's not really a budget per se. We're talking about 12 different budget bills for different parts of state government operations. The House and the Senate each passed their own versions of every bill, so they have to be mashed together at the end of the session into one version. That happens in something called a conference committee. A few senators, a few members of the House try to get together and resolve their differences. But those conference committees can't finish their work until the big three, that's Governor Walls and Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka and House Speaker Melissa Hortman, until those three agree on overall budget targets, known as the global targets. We are having very productive conversations about the federal stimulus money and uh, uh, all the different thorny issues, there, there's good conversation happening. There's no reason for us to push everything off until June. And even if they agree on the money, you've still got policy disputes. For example, the House wants police reforms the Senate won't accept. The Senate has voter ID the House won't accept. And then you have budget hostages. Republicans won't pass an environmental and natural resources bill unless the governor gives up his clean cars initiative. They're also demanding the governor give up his emergency powers. So yes, they're blowing through a deadline because this place is really divided. Just like this tie. Is this a red tie with blue stripes or a blue tie with red stripes? And who's the tie breaker? Well, in this case, it's Governor Walls because he has to sign the bills. For CARE 11 News at the Capitol, I'm John Croman. Always asking those deep questions, that John Croman. Well, the governor said he'll continue to talk to Senate and House leaders while he's at the fishing opener in hopes of resolving some major issues.